what is going on guys my name is Lexus and welcome back to the channel and today we are back in Mexico doing the things we love which is of course car shows and uh, you know some uh, illegal street activities and stuff like that so it's gonna be a great long freaking night but I'm super pumped there's so much that's about to go down so we're gonna start with the car show got a little bit to show you guys and then uh, we'll go straight to uh, what we love the best and what we love doing the most and that is street racing It's a CRV. Alright guys, so the car show is cool, you know, seeing a little bit of revs and people taking off on the road. That's it's fun, it's fun. I don't mind it once in a while, but this is this is what it's all about. So we got all these cars pulling in. I got a M3 rolling in, I got an M6, I got some fast. So the whole meet is everything 500 horsepower plus. So it should be a lot of fun and we're just getting started. So I guess this M6 wants to run real quick. So I'm down, I'm down for a little run. Looks like it's the M6 and then the vet as well, so I'm gonna hop in and go. One, two, three! Uh, guys so <laughs> this night just started and i i almost died already which is insane this is the closest call i've ever had but anyways it was uh, actually this vet right here against me against the uh, m5 and of course the m6 that's all the way in the back there they came out of nowhere i mean we're just waiting for the meet to get started and these guys are like hey you know uh, the m6 said I'm, I'm bouncing already so let's just get this over with so we jump on it man we get on the highway i wasn't racing but anyways um one of the runs i think we got like six or seven runs in one of them was like 160 miles per hour nobody was just letting off everybody wanted to just go uh, and then the other run, the last run, which was insane because uh, I almost died. Uh, we got up to like 120, 130. 
and I'm racing the M6. So it's a four lane highway. I'm in the left lane. There's an empty lane between us, and then uh, he's in the uh, second lane from the right. And so we're going, we got up to like 120, 130, and then there is a boat in front of me with no lights on. And he's like in the lane right in between both of us. Well, he decides to, out of nowhere, when I'm super close to him, just to freaking switch over into my lane. So I had to slam the brakes and get into the other lane. Um, you can see in slow motion in that video. But that was literally, I mean, if, if, if it was like a second later, I don't think I could have uh, avoided that one. I'm pretty sure I would have clipped them and it would have been game over. We don't do this to endanger other people. So after that run, actually, I just called it quits. I said, we're not doing that anymore because, I mean, there's just too much traffic on the road. So we're going to wait a few more hours and then uh, give it another run. I'm pretty sure cops are going to show up. It's just usually what happens at these meets. But I'm super pumped. It's been months since I've had any action like this. I love doing this more than anything else. So I hope you guys enjoy it just as much as I do. There is an 1800 horsepower Viper here as well. There's a lot of stuff on slicks that's rolling in so should be a freaking fun night but uh, if you guys enjoy what you're seeing drop a like drop a comment and uh let's get this action going all right boy so this is the m6 that we just uh raised god dude this thing is insane i'm not going to come around so you don't see the license plate but for a four-door probably ten thousand pound vehicle well just a stage one i mean this thing hauls butt man that is very very impressive i mean you guys all know what m6 is that's like the biggest land yacht that they make or bmw makes very very impressed uh definitely give some breath for this guy man holy crap dude he he stayed in it man oh man this guy always wanted to meet him in his gtr man but he's he's always hiding that hood so <laughs> all right man you ready all right yes i got the extra ricey black bumper <laughs> and then i got Ooh. the oh shit bar in the back <laughs> nice dude he got a roll cage in here he's got everything like stock or we're we talking slightly bigger they're stock turbos that's it I swear to God, you're lying but to me. No, man, Everybody but lies to me. It's, it's not right. <laughs> it's stock in the I, I know, I know. He like whispered the stock part. My, the, the wheels aren't acting right right tonight. I don't know what's going on. What do you mean? They're feeling like they got a little wobble to them. Too much horsepower, man. No, man, they new wheels. <laughs> so we're going to run the GTR for sure. Then we're running the uh, V or rerunning the V. I definitely want to see what that happens now, especially with, uh, with the full bolt-ons on my car. So there's a lot of big stuff that came out. There's the freaking, where the Viper go? We got the Viper. Hey, is that the... Bro, is that the uh, twin turbo? Is that the twin turbo Viper? Yeah, the Calvo. That's the big, yeah, the Calvo, oh my God. He's got like four times my horsepower. Oh, I've never seen one in person. Look at that, yeah, yeah it is. There it is, CM1800. Bro, this thing is the real deal. Joey, you need some of this action, bro. You should have brought the GTR out. Golly. All right, I'm a little jelly. Nah, a lot, a lot jelly. <laughs> Dude, I love that tag. <laughs> it says I'll win. <laughs> nice. Oh, we got cops there. We got cops here. So I'm guessing I'm getting kicked out. Well, Wait, what? You said it's fine? He's not worried. No, he said no problem. No problem. He said it's fine. One, two, three. He, he went on two. You gotta go on three, not two. <laughs> solenoid stuck open on it and oh, shit. she was holding 5500 rpms in neutral and so i just killed it on the road that's one problem you don't want to have is nitrous spraying uncontrollably into your motor i mean that motor could have blown honestly so he did a good thing by saving it it could have been a lot worse but we're on the side of the road it's part of racing <laughs> Alright guys, so the street racing part is finally over. I mean, we got tons of runs in. It was super fun. I put at least 100 miles on that car just literally doing street racing. But anyways, it's the red Mustang against the uh, white M5. We gotta find it somewhere, but that race is going down. 
and then of course tons of other shenanigans as well so this is just the beginning but i do have 200 dollars on that bet that that red mustang and a full boltons is going to lose so i hope i don't lose my money i like clout <laughs> all right let's get it off Yeah, but you can't see the light. He jumped. Can't see the light. Well, whenever you have a two thousand dollar pot, you kind of expect this to go down. So, I don't know. I personally, from my video, it looks like literally the the, uh, the guy hit the light and then uh, the BMW moved. It is a super close call. I mean, there's like 20 different video angles of this. I mean, the race masters is gonna have to make a decision. So, I mean, either, either I'll lose 200 bucks, I'll win 200, so I don't know. This kind of sounds like a repeat of South Carolina, but this one is, is a lot more fair. Hey, guys, everybody keep quiet, let him talk. Keep quiet, let him talk. Make the call. 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 Make the Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Thank you. And the verdict is I lost two hundred dollars. So <laughs> that's part of it. I mean, something to keep in mind. Like it's not just like who gets to the end of the freaking drag strip first. It's also who launches, who doesn't launch, who breaks down, who red lights, who jumps. I mean, there's so much that goes into it. So, yeah, in this case, yes, I lost $200 and I think my wife's pissed, but it happens. I mean, that's part of it. Um, you can always win that money back. So, that was uh, that was definitely intense for a second, man. Everybody's arguing, yelling. And that is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a heck of a long night. It's like three o'clock in the morning, so I don't really feel safe for me and my wife to drive home this late. So uh, we actually got the hotel room for the night. And as you can tell, I won a few races, but lost a lot of them. And it's all to those freaking LS motors. It's so hard to beat them, I don't know why. But like literally on the Vs, on the Corvettes, on the top end, they always come around, no matter how far of a jump I get on them. So it is what it is, but it's cool, man. Um, e is definitely coming to the channel, or E85 is definitely coming to the channel. So I'm looking forward to that. that should definitely give me enough torque to really be more competitive with these guys and to be honest with you guys i enjoy this a lot more than just going to the drag strip like there's just enough street racing and, and drag racing to really make it worth the while of driving two hours each way and as always guys thank you so much for all the support if you like what you've seen drop a like drop a comment and a subscription that would mean the world to me enjoy your lives enjoy your cars and i hope you guys have a great night i'll see you next time peace